the glad media award an award that recognizes and honors various branches of the media for their outstanding representation of the lgbtq community and the issues that affect their lives was live at the beverly hilton in la and while the overall vibe on the red carpet tonight was very easy breezy some still managed to pull a good look together and while for others it was clearly a struggle boss here are the top 10 best and worst dress at the glad awards 2024 Take a look. First up on our list and starting out strong, we have the beautiful Sydney Sweeney. And for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this silk ashy white long dress by Miu Miu. And tonight, she was styled by the gorgeous Molly Dixon. And I think this was a pretty decent look. And I think she looks really nice in that custom Miu Miu dress. Now, just like I said before, this isn't like a major, major award. So I would really understand why it was very easy breezy and low effort in terms of the looks that were served on the runway. So tonight, I'm really just going to fish out the ones that did better than good and i think sydney really falls into that category now sydney has surely been wearing a lot of whites lately and honestly it just looks so good on her so i would really understand why she would want to try that out a few more times i mean if it's not broken don't fix it and i think she's allowed to do just that i love 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 how this dress fits her it's custom so i would expect that it fits her to a t and it does i also really love the neckline of the dress i think that stone strap that goes on the bustier just really adds a nice detail to this look i really love the hair i really love the makeup and the styling i think she was going for a very effortless type glamour and i think she really achieved that tonight overall i think sydney looks great tonight and this is definitely a hot for me up next we have the ebony goddess nisi nash and for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this red sequin mesh long dress. And tonight, she was styled by the talented Ashley Sean Thomas. And I really did love this one. Now, I was looking at her stylist page and I saw that he tagged her handle for the dress. And what I'm guessing is that this dress is something out of her closet. And to me, that even makes it more of a hit for me. Now, this is definitely a note that you don't need the most expensive designers to look and feel good. Once you know what you're doing in terms of styling, and the overall presentation you can look and feel like a million bucks and tonight nisi definitely shows us that i really love this color up against her skin tone it's this vibrant tomato red and i think it generally just looks great on black skin i also really love certain elements of this dress and i just think that the overall construction is doing it for me from that off shoulder detailing with the two fabric to the mesh train moment that starts from the midsection of the dress to that tie high slit that is for days this just screams very expensive to me and she definitely knows what she's doing with this one the hair was so beautifully done with that side swooping and the makeup generally looked amazing overall nisi showed up and showed out and read the girls for field and this look is definitely a hot for me up next on our list we have the super handsome matt bomber and for the glad awards 2024 he had on this deep blue two-piece suit with a black inner shirt by berluti and tonight he was styled by the super talented Warren Allen Baker and I think he looks dapper in this look. Now I really love the construction of this suit with that black lapel. I think it was very well done. The suits generally just fit nice and he's giving us that easy breezy vibe. I also really love the overall styling with that silver brooch, the watch and those black Cuban boots. This look is just doing enough for me. He's well groomed and I mean what's not to love about the overall look. Overall, Overall, Matsuboma delivered a classic look and nailed it at that. So yeah, this look is definitely a hot for me. Up next, we have the beautiful Hannah Waddingham. And for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this sequin black long dress by Halsey. And tonight, she was styled by the incredible James Yardy. And I think this was such a beautiful look for Hannah tonight. Now, Hannah is definitely one of those celebrities that knows her proportions. She definitely knows what works and what doesn't really work. And that, to me, is a skill that not many people possess. And I really love that for her. Now, for this look, I'm really in love with that square 
neckline that we see on the dress i just think that there's a form of elegance that it creates in the overall silhouette i also really live for the way it fits her she's giving me body yoddy yoddy in this look and that to me is always a yes also the overall detailing on the dress is just something that needs to be talked about i think that gold like floral pattern that we see run through the dress just creates a really interesting detailed moment and just brings the dress to life the styling of this dress was also really top tier for me from the huge diamond ring she has on her fingers to the gold clutch purse to the black palms she definitely did style this to perfection also this short hair that is now becoming her signature hairstyle is also something that i live for overall i was living and loving this look as served by hannah and it's a hot for me up next we have the stunning Chriselle Styles and for the Glad Awards 2024 she had on this silver breastplate top and a black flare skirt by Amplituda Designs and tonight she styled herself and I'm not gonna lie she kind of ate with this one. Now I really wasn't familiar with the Amplituda Designs but I checked them out and they specialize in making this kind of like stunning and very intricate breastplate detailed designs and I just think they are so edgy and so beautiful. First of all I really love that even though this is a top and a skirt it doesn't look casual by any means and it definitely still gives the illusion of a very glamorous dress i mean just that breastplate moment is so beautifully done that it's still so mind-blowing also just her pairing that breastplate top with this flare type skirt was such a nice call because what it did was that it ultimately just created a beautiful proportion and it was very beautiful to see it was almost giving me the illusion of a ball gown and i really loved it love the jewelry love that she actually styled her hair and i really love the super glam beat overall this look knocked it out of the park tonight and it was definitely a hot for me First up on our watch dress list, we have the super talented Chloe Bailey. And for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this black rubber stripes dress by Presiat from their fall 2024 collection. And tonight, she was styled by the amazing Timothy look. And I just really did not love this look tonight. Now, there was just a form of stiffness about this look that I just wasn't really in love with. And I think that overall, it hindered the fit of the dress on her. Also, just the dress in itself was just not really a favorite of mine in terms of construction and execution. First of all, I just did not really love the full four details on both the shoulder and the wrist area. I felt like the dress could have done without it. And aside that, I just am not really just connecting with this look overall to be honest. Just the material in itself and just that stripe detail look just looks so unpleasant to look at and it was giving me very old crumpled leather tools bag and that to me was definitely not the vibe. The back of the dress too looks like it was trying way too hard to compensate for the front and I just don't know it's just a no for me. Overall this look did not really do it for me and so it's a chop for me. Up next we have the super sexy Jonathan Bailey and for the Glad Awards 2024 he had on this dark ash three piece suit set by Dunhill from their fall winter 2024 menswear collection and tonight he was styled by the super stunning Emma Jade Morris thing and this look definitely had the potential to be great but just the way he has styled it was just a little bit of a huge letdown for me tonight. Now the fact that this is a three piece suit does not necessarily mean that you must in fact wear all all three pieces at once just a little styling here and there should definitely come in handy when dealing with things like this now i didn't really love the three-piece style together with that turtle neck moment i personally would have just maybe taken that inner jacket off and maybe just have him button up the blazer to create a more cohesive look or on the other hand i just would have had the three pieces of the suit in place but instead of that turtle neck moment i would have opted for a button down shirt that way the overall look still looks very airy and good to me this look definitely feels like he's gasping for air because it looks really tight and and that to me is just a chop for me. 
Up next, we have the beautiful Juno Temple. And for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this baby pink silk long dress by Vivian Westwood. And tonight, she was styled by the incredible Erin Walsh. And this is just an immediate no for me. I mean, something is really throwing me off and I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's the really wonky construction of the dress and how it looks on her. Or maybe it's the hideous styling with that choker detail and those really chunky shoes. Or maybe it's both. It's definitely both. I mean, there's just a little bit of a disconnect when it comes to this dress for me. And don't get me wrong, I really love Vivian Westwood. But this look wasn't just it for me. Now, I think that the color really washes her out. And I think that at this point, she is pale. And she's giving me very Casper the Ghost. Don't love that for her. Maybe a darker shade of pink would have worked in this instance. I don't know. I also really didn't love the hair. Maybe a side swoop moment detail would have worked for the hair uh i don't know i really don't know it's it's a no-no for me and it's a top up next we have the eclectic jojo siwa and for the glad awards 2024 she had on this really interesting graffiti sweatshirt and a pencil jeans and someone definitely took a wrong turn from the coffee shop because let's just be for real right now i mean i feel like i'm being pranked with this look right now and i just really have questions like what was the inspiration behind this look for me what was she going for are we really sure that she has that right outfit on? Are we really sure that she's in the right place? These are definitely the right questions that needs to be asked for me. This overall look is giving me very childlike 2003 aesthetics. And that to me is just a bit questionable. Yikes. I really just don't know what to say. Congrats girl. You've rendered me so speechless today. It's a chop for me. Up next, we have the gorgeous, gorgeous MJ Rodriguez. And for the Glad Awards 2024, she had on this brown strapless long dress by Gaurav Gopta. And she was styled by the incredible duo Wayman and Micah. And I love, love, love Gaurav and his fashion creations. But this look was definitely one of the looks that I really can't get behind. Now, first of all, they just seem to be a disconnect with the top part of the outfit and the bottom half. I just maybe would have loved the entire look to be beaded just to really tie everything together also the feet on the bustier just looked really tight and undersized for her it definitely looked like the girls were gasping for air and you can literally just see that also this color on her was just not really the best and it just falls flat on its face for me the hair and the makeup could definitely have been better and i just feel like this should have given a little bit more overall this look failed to hit the nail on the head for me and it's a chop all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i shared with you guys my top 10 best and worst dress at the glad awards 2024 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i'll definitely see you guys at the next award show but for now it is bye guys au revoir